Hi, I'm Yao, and I'm here to walk you through adding new products in the back office. Let's go to the back office using your unique URL. That would be yourstorename.storeuphq.com. Log in with your registered email and password. Here we are in the back office. Go to products, add product. On the add product page, let's first enter the name of the product and set the price. Without filling in these required fields, you cannot save the product. Now let's go back and learn about the other aspects. Stock Keeping Unit or SKU is normally used by retailers and rarely by FNB. If you have QuickBooks integration, it is necessary for you to set the SKU for your product. Remember not to confuse SKU with barcode number. They are not the same. The SKU is usually a short code that allows you to easily identify your product. To enter a new category, click on the plus icon. Categories are used for reporting and to keep your items organized. Here, you can set a supplier. This is required before you can add this product to a purchase order. To learn more about creating suppliers and purchase orders, you can look at some of our other video tutorials. Like categories, product tags are great for reporting, but are more flexible. Unlike categories, you can have multiple tags to a single product. Let's move on to pricing type. Fixed pricing is used most of the time, whereby a product's price is fixed and does not change at the point of checkout. On the right is product cost. This will help the back office calculate your profit margin. Unit price can be based on kilogram, gram, or even meter. To create a new unit, click on the plus icon and click OK. Variable price is used when the price of the product is only known at the point of checkout. For example, shipping costs or cases where unit pricing does not work. You can set the price when checking out a sale at the iPad register. Let's set a fixed price for our coffee. This is the base price. On top of the base price, you can select various types of tax. Let's select GST 6%. The amount on the right is the final price inclusive of tax, while the amount on the left is tax exclusive. Depending on where you are, it may be important to show either tax exclusive pricing or tax inclusive. This can be configured in your account settings. Over here, we can specify a kitchen printer for this product to be printed to. To learn more about setting up kitchen printers, check out our other videos. If your product has variants, it's important that you select variants option now, because this option will not be available once the product is created. At that point, you'd have to delete product and create a new one. Let's start with single choice variants. Enter group name, name the options. Type values to add to price. Small which has zero as add to price would be the same as base price. Medium would add $3 to base price and large will add five. That would be $10 for small, 13 for medium and 15 for large. Let's add another single choice group. If you've noticed, a customer can only choose one option from each group, small or medium, hot or cold, not hot and cold, hence single choice variants. When you choose a default option, it will automatically be selected on the iPad register, like so. Let's move on to multiple choice variants. Enter group name and name the options. Type values for add to price. If you've noticed, multiple choice variants allow customers to choose multiple options at the same time. For example, Cindy may only want to add on sugar, while Jasmine may add on an extra shot, sugar, and chocolate syrup. 
Retailers could also use this feature for add-ons. Lastly, check track stock level if you want to track inventory. It's important you check it now because if you do not, you will be unable to track inventory later. To undo, you will have to delete the product and create a new one. Simple inventory tracking could be used for retailers like t-shirts, candles, and watches. These items are simple. Composite inventory could be used to track ingredients for food items or flower components in a bouquet of flowers. In this case for coffee, we will select composite inventory to track coffee beans, milk, and sugar. All done? Click save. Thank you for watching.